This is the Stay Fuck Marshmallow Man. This is also a super first on the show. This is the first six inch figure that I've actually ever opened. And yeah, it's my day off. What a great way to start the day. I've got my coffee. I got you guys. I get to open a new toy, which is super exciting. So yes, let's get into this. You're seeing right now a 360 of the box art of this guy in it. He's so, his face is adorable and cute. And I'm so Oh, really excited to open him up. His smile and just how happy he is. I mean, it's yes, of course, with the movie, there could be, you know, an exclusive burnt edition that could show up on the show, which would be really cool with the angry face. Arr. But yes, it's um, today we get happy, smiley, stay puffed, and he's so adorable. So let's break this guy open. I'm going to have a little bit more coffee and we'll be back here in a second. <laughs> Sweet, merciful balls of cute. He is just freaking adorable with that little face and that little smile. He's just, oh my goodness, he's those little Michelin legs. He kind of reminds me of up here. I don't know if you guys have in the state the Michelin man. I guess you do, but anyways, he's all made out of tires. And in the 80s, he was kind of white and looked like Stay Puft. So I think that's kind of where... They may have gotten the idea for this figure, but, well, when they were creating Ghostbusters in the 80s, but yes, he is so, <laughs> he's just so cute. You're seeing it in this video right now. He's adorable. He is such a winner. He's, oh my goodness, I never want to get rid of this figure. He is so, his, just everything. Look at that smile. It's just so cute and it makes me so happy. A little bit of paint mess ups in the top lining of the hat and a little bit on his like collar bib but in general that's pretty it happens when it comes to Funkos but yeah he's pretty freaking sweet and cute and I think you'll be sold as well when you come to watching the video because don't forget we do have the judging on Sunday so we got this is going to be so hard I thought <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of these are going to be staying in the collection and staying on the shelf and then what I think I'm going to do is every month or two as well just go through and maybe have a Funko cleansing here on the show and just maybe wean through a couple more, especially when we get exclusives that are, you know, the exclusive versions of a certain figure and that will be a different to see which one's my favorite one out of all of those. So anyways, you've seen the Stay Puffed. Thank you for tuning into episode seven here on and I got that right today because I put up ep the wrong episode on the thumbnail image on Instagram because I was super tired. It's been a really crazy work week. I've had some really great feedback from people here on Instagram about the show. They love it. It's definitely, there will be some hate comments. I'm pretty good at getting to them right away and deleting them. If you do see one, don't engage. Do not feed the trolls. It's not worth it. You're way too cool if you love this type of, you know, if somebody is watching my show, most of the time if they're hating on me being transgendered, it's because of they've seen the thumbnail, they wanted to check out a girl with boobies, and then they got all insecure and messed up and they decide to lash out. So do not feed the trolls, let them be trolls, I'll delete the comments, and we'll just all have a super amazing fun time watching the show here and opening these Funkos and enjoying every day here on Everyday Funko. See you tomorrow.